If you want to create an account on Pionex, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you will be automatically eligible for the best sign up bonus possible which is currently up to 2125 US dollars. Creating an account using the link from the description will give you access to all of these nice sign up bonuses that you can redeem by depositing and trading different amounts. All you then have to do is enter an email, set a password or use one of these options and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. And the first thing, of course, I want to show you is how you can deposit crypto. It's very simple. You simply go up here to wallet, click on here, and then on the left side, you can click right here on deposit, and then you will get to this page. Here, you can choose the currency that you want to deposit, for example, Bitcoin, US dollar tether, whatever currency. You can also search for one right here. In my case, I'm going to choose US dollar tether. Then I can choose a network. For example, I like to use the Tron network because it has low fees. And here on the right side, you will get your individual deposit address, which you can send money to. You can copy it to a clipboard right here and then send funds to this address from another exchange or wallet or whatever. Once you have deposited money right here, within a few minutes, it should arrive down here and then you have it on your account and you could do whatever you want with it. And this works like that for any other cryptocurrency as well. So you can choose whichever one you would like. If you don't have any crypto yet and you want to deposit with fiat money, for example, that also works. Um, you can do that by just going up here to buy crypto and then click on express. Then you will have here the option to choose your currency. For example, if you want to buy with euro or US dollar tether, and then you can choose the currency that you want to receive. For example, if I use euro, I want to buy with 500 euro, I will get 536 US dollar tether. You cannot hold any euro in here. You have to choose one of these cryptocurrencies, but what it does is it basically buys it right here, and then you will have that cryptocurrency right here on your account. So in my case, I'm gonna choose US dollar tether, and then you have these different payment providers down here, depending on what payment method you wanna use. For example, a normal bank transfer right here, or if you go down, you can also see some offer, Google Pay, Apple Pay, or your normal Visa or MasterCard. Um, sometimes these have a little bit higher fees, so it depends. You maybe have to check a few of these different uh, third-party services. Once you've found one that you would like, you can simply click on buy. You will be redirected to that third-party service. We have to enter your payment details. And once you have confirmed your order, within a few minutes or hours, the money should arrive in that chosen currency right here on your account on Pionex. You can always check if the money has already arrived. You can do that by simply going up here to wallet and then click on your balance and then you will see if the money has already arrived right here. You have basically two different accounts right here. Your primary account, if you deposit something, it should usually appear right here and your futures account where you can use the money right here. If you have it on here, you can use it to leverage trade with it. So if you still have it in your primary account, you can simply go up here to transfer and then choose from your primary account to your futures account, select the currency that you want. I would recommend you use US dollar tether and then you can transfer to your account right here. And um, if you don't have it in US dollar tether yet, because I would recommend you definitely use it in US dollar tether to trade with it, because then you can basically trade any cryptocurrency on the platform. You can do that by simply going up here to spot and then on convert. So if you have, for example, deposited with Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency, you can choose it right here type in the amount and then you can basically convert it to US dollar tether and once you have it in US dollar tether in your account if you go back here to your futures account here is where you should have the money then you can use it to leverage trade with it all right next up let's take a look at the trading platform you can go there by simply going up here to futures and then click on futures trading you will get to this page right here i will show you everything step by step that you can see here first of all up here we can choose the trading pair so currently we have bitcoin selected but you could of course also trade any of these other different trading pairs that you want to trade down below here you have the price chart that's just a cutout from trading view so if you are familiar with trading view you have all the same features right here you can draw any lines draw something else you can measure different price moves and so on here on the right, you have the order book. So all the selling orders in the market up here and all the buying orders currently down here. And you can also see the recently happened trades in here. Down below, this is very important section. Here you can see all of your current open positions. Very important. You will see them down here. We will get into that in just a bit. And you can also see your open orders if you have some, for example, a stop loss, trading stop, whatever. And here on the right side, that's also very important. You can see your current balance that you have on your account. As I mentioned, these $76 that we currently have. And um, you can also add some more if you want to do that. And of course, here on the right side, this is where we can control our trades, where we can open our positions. So that's what we're going to do right now. First of all, 
if you want to open a position, you can choose your margin mode. I would recommend you just leave it on isolated always. And here you can choose your leverage. We can use an up to 100x leverage. I would recommend you not that high. In this case, for example, let's go in with a 5x leverage. So I'm just going to put in 5x, click on OK. And then we have our leverage set right here. Then you have two different options. You can use a limit order or a market order. The difference is if you're using a limit order, you can set a certain price at which you want to open the position. If you don't want to enter the market right now at this price here, you can basically place a market order at a different price. For example, you can put it in here at $42,000 and only if this price is reached, then the order will be executed. What I recommend you, and I always mostly of the time use it, is just go on market order because then you can't set a price. It, what it does is it basically just enters the market immediately at the current market price. Um, then if you have selected your order type, you can choose the position size. You can switch right here between showing it in US dollar or in Bitcoin. I like to use it in US dollar. And then I could type in, for example, $200. And what it does, it means, okay, we are going to open a $200 position, but it costs us only $40 of our own capital that we can see right here because we are using a 5x leverage. So it costs us $40 times 5 equals an entire position size of $200. We can also see it right here. That's where we typed it in. So if I say, for example, 100, of course, we are only going to, it only going to cost us $20 because of a 5x leverage. The position size will be $100. So that's how it works. You can also use the slide controller to choose how much percent of your own capital you are going to use. So if you drag this up right here to 100%, it basically uses all of your available balance that you have right here. And of course, percentage wise, this always changes of your available balance. So that's and you can see the position size right here. So my maximum position size that I can use with a 5x leverage with my $76 will, of course, if I put this to 100%, like around $360. So I'm just going to do that right here. If I have that chosen, next up, I can also choose a take profit or stop loss. If I click on here, I can either type in a price. I can also do that later, but I'm going to show you here. I can type in a take profit price and a stop loss price. Or I could, I would recommend you just click on advanced settings and then you will get to this page right here, which is a very, very useful. Um, you can choose between long or short. In this case, I'm going to show you a long position. It works the same for short, but in this case, let's go for long. And then I can either type in a price, I can type in my profit or loss that I want to achieve, or I can type in the return on investment percentage wise. So for example, I could type in, I want to have a profit of $50. And what it does, it automatically calculates the price for me. $50 profit, which means 70% return on invest on my initial capital that I've put into this trade. Yeah. That's how it works. If I click on these other variables, you can see they all adjusted accordingly to the amount that I entered right here. I could also say, okay, no, I don't want it here. I want to set it at a specific price, for example, $51,000. And I can directly check, okay, that means um, a $58 profit and that means an 80% return on invest on my investment. So all these numbers, they change all the time, whatever you want to select. So you can either choose by price, profit or percentage increase. Same works for stop loss. I could say, for example, I could set a certain price, percentage, or I could just say, okay, I don't want to make any more loss than $15. I can type in 15 and it automatically calculates the price for me, $15 loss and 20% return on invest on my capital. So that's how it works. Once I've set them both and I'm fine with them, I can just click on OK and it copies the price in here. So I have everything set up. Then I can just click on buy long, click on OK. I can see all the information again. And then once I clicked on OK, the position is opened. Now let's take a look at the important section down here because here we can see all the important information that we need to see. Let's go through them step by step. First of all, we can see it's a Bitcoin trade. It's a buy, so a long position with an isolated margin of a 5x leverage. I can see the position size in Bitcoin. I can see the position size in US dollars. And I can see right here my liquidation price. Liquidation price means if the price drops that much, I have currently a stop loss, so that won't happen. But if the price drops much, 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 much further, so far that basically my entire position will be liquidated because I will lose all of my own capital that I can see right here, which is called my margin. Then the position will be closed automatically and I will lose all of my margin right here. So that means it goes down, it goes down. If I wouldn't have a stop loss down to this price, it's also very nice that I can see this liquidation price right here in the price chart. At that price, I will lose my margin. Of course, that won't happen because as we, we, we have done it before, we have set a stop loss before at which we will make $15 of a loss and our position will be already closed right here. But if I wouldn't have that, that's where you have, that's where the liquidation price comes in place. All right. Next up, we've already cast margin. That's 
the um, own capital that we have in this trade. As you can see, initially we had like $76. It's, it doesn't take exactly all of the amount because it has to round it up to an even BTC number right here. So as you can see, currently we have like $4 left and here's our margin with $71. Here we can see our profit or loss. Currently we are like 20 cents in a loss because the price has dropped a little bit since we entered in blue line here we can see where we opened our position. And next up, that's pretty much important here as well. This is our take profit and stop loss. We've set them at the beginning. We can also see them in the price chart. If I zoom out a little bit here, I can see my take profit up here and my stop loss down here. What I can do, of course, at any time is just click on this right here and edit them at any time. I can modify them, choose different numbers. What I can also do is add another take profit and for example say I want to only take a partial position already at $10 of profit. I want to close 25% of the position. Click on OK. And then as you can see what will happen is if the price rises at that price I'm going to take 25% off and at that price I'm going to close the entire rest of the position. So pretty nice. I can also take multiple. I could add some new. I could add some new or I can at any point also click here on modify and change up these numbers if I want to do so. And if I click on here, of course, wait, let's click on cancel. So I can see here's my general take profit where I take all of it out. And here is this partial take profit that I set a second time. Um, you can take add any new ones by also just clicking on here, dragging. You will see your expected profit or loss right here. And I could say, okay, you know what, at like $17 of profit, I want to add another one and so on. So that's pretty, pretty useful and very nice. I can also click on X to cancel them. So that's how you can work with these take profit and stop losses. The last thing I also want to show you, which is very nice, is this trailing stop feature down here. You can click on settings and set a certain retracement distance if you want to do so. For example, I could say $500, click on OK. You unfortunately won't see it in the chart. But what I've done currently right now is basically I've set a trading stop with a trigger right now. You can see it right here. It sits exactly $500 below the current price. And what it does is if the price rises, my trading stop right here will always remain the difference of $500. So if the price rises, my trading stop right here will also rise. And then it's, if at some point the price is going to crash, it will stay in here and then yeah, I will be stopped out in here. If instead I would only have this stop loss, the price would crash down here, for example, let's say overnight and I cannot see it, then I would not I would have missed out even though I was right at the beginning because the price rose. Because I didn't have a stop loss that has um, taken these steps as well, it just crashes down and gets triggered here in my stop loss. So that's how you can use a trading stop. Unfortunately, you can't see it in the chart, but you can always see where it stands right now and what's the distance and you can edit it also here. If you wanna cancel it completely, you basically go in here to your open orders, go to trading stop, you can see it in here and you can cancel it. And that way you can also cancel your trading stop as well. All right, that's pretty much all you need to know about leverage trading in here. It works just the same, of course, for a short position as well. And if at any time you wanna close your position, you can simply go down here, click on close, choose how much percent of the position you wanna close and then click on okay. And then you're out of the market again. Don't forget to create an account on Pionex by using the link down from the video description to get the best signup bonus possible. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.